Hello my friends and welcome to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. Today I will play in a new episode called Architect with SGT Slaughter against Baron Corbin. His entering career began after working as a drill instructor for the S Marine Corps and he continued that moniker throughout his time between the ropes. Famed for his army camouflage attire, dark sunglasses and green hat, he shot to stardom as a real-life American hero to the millions of wrestling fans across the states and the rest of the world. But no amount of military training could prepare him for the backlash he received after his character turned on his homeland following the outbreak of the Gulf War. Aligning himself with KFID military chief General Adnan, he began wearing headdresses to the ring while playing an Iraqi sympathizer. Sarge knew he would receive plenty of heat, but it was only his wife who correctly predicted how bad things would get for him and his family away from the ring. Speaking exclusively to Sun Sport, Slaughter explained she was real happy about me doing the Iraqi sympathizer and she warned me it wouldn't be the best idea and she was right. We got death and bomb threats and WWE had to hire security at my home who would walk the perimeter 24-7 carrying weapons to make sure anyone thinking of visiting the Slaughter house would be turned away. And it even cost him the opportunity of defending the WWE title he had claimed from the Ultimate Warrior in front of a crowd against Hulk Hogan. Sarge was due to face the Hulkster at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, but due to security concerns, WrestleMania 7 was switched to Los Memorial Sports Arena instead. Slaughter said it, I don't believe anybody could do it now and I don't wish that on anybody it was a really tough time. It took a special man soldier to do that coming off back of Gijo, the real American hero to going up against Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 7, and Slaughter revealed that current superstar Baron Corbin who has become one of the most hated characters for decades over the past year, is one man he thinks will enjoy huge success as in the position as the company's top baddie. Slaughter, real name Robert Rudolph Remus, said I spoke to him at WrestleMania this year about it and I congratulated him on finally finding that character that can draw that villain out of himself. He's such an easygoing guy that it can be tough to get him going, but he's now right into that character and he can turn it on and off and I'm very happy with his success. His mic skills have really helped him and I know he'll go far. Thankfully, Sarge saw the light and returned to being an American hero after losing the belt to Hogan and he remains one of the business's most loved stars to date. And he cannot wait to be back out there in front of the WWE Universe tonight along with a stellar cast of fellow iconic names on the special Raw reunion show although one of his fellow legends should watch their back. A former offensive lineman for the Indianapolis Colts and Arizona Cardinals of the National Football League NFL, Pestock also competed in the 2008 Golden Gloves Tournament. He signed with WWE in 2012 and was assigned to their developmental brand NXT under the ring name Baron Corbin portraying a villainous character nicknamed the Lone Wolf. He debuted on the main roster at WrestleMania 32, winning the end of the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He went on to win the 2017 Money in the Bank Men's Ladder Match and WWE United States Championship once. In 2018, he was appointed the Constable of Raw and started a feud with Kurt Angle which culminated at WrestleMania 35, with Corbin emerging victorious in Angle's retirement match. A few months later, he won the 2019 King of the Rain tournament, thus changing his name to King Corbin until 2021, when he lost his crown and became destitute. Two months later, he adopted the name Happy Corbin and began portraying a happy-go-lucky character who had become extremely wealthy. He then started a brief alliance with Mad Cat Moss. In 2022, he returned to the Baron Corbin name and was managed by JBL until 2023, after which he returned to NXT. Hope you enjoy this video game and see you again soon.